It's time for a special edition now of Your Health from Budapest, Hungary. Today on Your Health, a revolution. Hungary discarded a half century of communism. The political shift was dramatic. The economic about face, wrenching. But the life expectancy of Hungarians has been dropping. In the experience of Hungary, there are lessons of how our world, our environment, affect our health. Welcome to Budapest, capital of Hungary, and our special look at health concerns that are both local and universal. I'm Andrew Holtz. Change. While relieving old problems, it can create new pressures. And in Hungary, change is the order of the day. As political freedom surged forward, Hungary's economy stumbled. The gross domestic product plummeted 20%. This uh, drop uh, can be compared uh, with uh, the Great uh, Depression uh, in uh, Western Europe. They have lost not only income security and job security, but also housing security, the security of being able to pay for light, electricity, medication and whatever. Hungarians feel it in the markets. We have an apartment and the maintenance costs are very high. So our basic point is that it should be cheap. For example, there is one kind of meat that we simply cannot afford. And fears for the future hit home. I don't know um, why I could be optimistic. I don't find any reason. Signs of new Western investment obscure Hungarian unemployment that's gone from virtually non-existent to topping 10%. Health experts say it takes a toll. We have research and statistics that those are unemployed and especially who are unemployed on a long-term basis because they are unskilled and it's difficult to find a working place. They are much more endangered for certain diseases like those diseases which have a psychosocial origin. Stress may aggravate heart problems or weaken the immune system, researchers say. And even where access to health care is equal, poverty increases the risk of many ailments. One symptom is seen firsthand by police who must respond to a dramatic increase in violent crime. The police are here investigating a report of a robbery. And it seems that since Hungarian society opened up, well, freedom has brought with it more crime against both property and people. From the robbery scene, police went to the hospital where two victims were getting treatment for their beating injuries. In previous years, in pre-1990 years, you had an average of 200 murders a year, which has since gone up to about 300. Criminologists say poverty spurs crime. Hungary has also seen more organized crime. Illegal guns are more common, some sold by former Soviet soldiers as they went home. And criminologists say Western movies and television shows may make violence more acceptable to some people. Welcome, Wagon. Here we go. No kidding. A poll taken after a Miami Vice episode aired here found well-to-do Budapest residents identified with the show's victims and detectives. That was not so in a poorer neighborhood. Whereas the people, a part of the people living in the slum areas, identified more with the criminals and regarded them as acceptable models. Prostitution is no longer a serious offense in Hungary. Health experts worry about an increase in sexually transmitted diseases, including AIDS. Nevertheless, experts point out that although crime has almost tripled, Hungary's crime rate is still lower than that of either neighboring Austria or southern Germany. Sociologist Zsuzsa Fergi says the fruits of political change have not been as sweet as Hungarians expected. Out of every five people, living standards are better for only one, and worse for three. These affects people's behavior, people's optimism, and also their health and their mental health. Fewer Hungarians are making big changes in their lives. The level of marriages, the rate of marriages has gone down, also the rate of divorce. People divorce less and marry less and have much, much less children. Hungarians seem to be hunkering down in difficult times. 
Ava, who asked her last name not be used, lives with her two sons in the same house as before the political changes. But she has a new job and says she must now work much harder. In the late regime, I hated it uh, very much. But after the changing of the ruling system, uh, I realized that um, day by day I have to struggle much more for, for the living. Her older son, Victor, works with his father in home building, facing new international competition. It's hard. It's very hard because we are a small company. And uh, bigger German companies take the market in Hungary. Younger son, Balaj, studies hard to prepare for a future full of uncertainty. We were very, very happy about that the change already has taken place and uh, that uh, all the lies are over. We have to learn uh, other kind of economic uh, policy and other kind of uh, things. But uh, it seems very long and very hard. Unemployment, uncertainty and poverty all threaten health. But work and industry also can pose dangers. When your health returns from Hungary, efforts to improve workplace safety and clean up toxic pollution.